Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. Today I'm going to upgrade our tire monitoring system. This is the new TST 770 RV system. This is going to be a huge improvement to our RV travels. Hi, it's Jerry and we have been traveling with a TST tire monitoring system ever since we bought this new Montana and wow does that add a significant safety factor uh, we have traveled without a tire monitoring system we had two blowouts here <laughs> I'll, I'll put a picture of what that looks like that was not fun um, it was a very scary situation and we had two blowouts and 500 miles and you know if we would have had a tire monitor monitoring system would we have prevented the blowouts I think so uh, because what we had was a poor quality tire on our old gateway fifth wheel and we had tire separation one at 3,000 miles and another one at 3,500 miles you got that right brand new tires 3,000 miles tread separation and uh, it was catastrophic failure as a matter of fact it did a good bit of damage to our gateway uh, and we had one blow on one side 500 miles louder. We had another one blow on another and we ran to a tire dealer and had all the tires replaced and the other two the belts had separated on those two. Now how would a tire management system have prevented that? We did not have low pressure but what we had was those tires heating up significantly during our travel. We would have gotten alerts that we would have had very very hot tires we could have pulled over prevented that got to a tire dealer and getting that remedied before we ended up sitting on the side of the road for many hours replacing tires and then on top of that having to find a dealer and fortunately we did and uh, they took good care of us but again with a tire management system we could have prevented possibly a catastrophic occurrence and uh, we have now got a TST system in band on the tires with this Montana that came as one of the factory add-ons here I'll put a picture here of what an in-band tire monitoring looks like and uh, those do not have the outside caps uh, they're on the insides of the tires and they work fantastic I'm very very pleased with those now what came with our Montana was this little small 507 look it works great um, it's basic it gives us tire pressure and it gives us tire temperature uh, as we're traveling down the road. It also has a repeater that is in the front. I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. It has a repeater um, that is located in the front of the fifth wheel uh, and it boosts the signal going up to the front of the cab uh, and this thing picks it up flawlessly. As a matter of fact, we, so we crank the truck up and pull it out of the workshop. Uh, it picks it up as we drive by and everything is ready to go as we head down the road. So I'm very, very pleased with that. But a lot of new features and new capabilities exist. If, if you saw any of our videos when we were at the Florida Tampa Super Show uh, this year, back in January, uh, we had a segment that we called Meeting with Our Favorite Vendors. Now, they none of them knew that I was going to show up it was just folks that I like and I wanted to go by their booths and see their products and see what their updates were and one of those was TST so I went by uh, one of the vendor booths that uh, sells TST products and the TST representatives were there and I said look love your product won't travel without it and would like to try anything new that you might want to send our way and they said look We've got this new system. It's called the 770 RV, um, and I'll show you the pieces and parts to that. And uh, we'll send you an update uh, so that you can update what you currently have. And oh, by the way, are you monitoring the tires on your tow vehicle? And I said, I am not. And they said, well, we'll send you some sensors for that as well. So we're going to be putting sensors today on our F350 Dually. Um, those inside tires are going to be fun, um, but I'll go through the process of what that takes. I won't spend an elaborate time showing you every single tire, uh, but I'll show you what that looks like and how those go on. 
uh, and then I'll show you the new features and capabilities of the 770. Uh, bigger screen um, and some nice little add-ons that are going to be great. So let's look at the product. This is the 770 monitor. You can see it is uh, substantially lower. Here's the old 507 just so you can see a comparison in the two screens. It is definitely different uh, when you look at size. Uh, the whole unit uh, would fit inside the screen here. And again, it is a wireless device. Um, the nice thing about this one compared to what we have here, uh, on the 507 you've got a clip-in capability. Um, they send a, a win window mount. Now I have what they call a bulletproof system. Uh, I've shown, well here, I'll put a video up here so you can see what that looks like. I've got bulletproof products um, to where I have an on-dash system that I use for monitoring and I have a magnetic mount on order. I hope that I can get this on time before we leave for Florida uh, this coming week. Um, and uh, the nice thing about this is any magnetic mount will will work with this so i like that nice snug fit it's not going to fall off in vibration um and then again any type of magnetic mount will work so i'm going to probably change the placement of what i have but even if i don't get it in time i'm gonna you know this just suction cups to the windshield no problem so it comes with that that's great um, it also comes with um a, a higher amperage charger. Now this does have an internal battery um, and you can drive down the road with it on battery. I am going to keep it plugged in. One of the things that I like about it is as it sense the voltage it will turn on and turn off on its own. Um, it also has, it's, they, they've upgraded to these uh, uh, smaller USB 3 type uh, connections and we're seeing that more and more and more on electronics now. So. You know, this will just fit into my charger and we'll use this going down the road. Um, it also comes, but I'm not going to have to use this since I currently have one already installed on uh, the fifth wheel. But uh, if you're doing this as a new installation, uh, they send you this uh, booster. Um, it's a fused device um, and you'll definitely want to install this. Um, up close, if you've got a, a pull-behind camper, uh, you'll want to mount this somewhere close to the front where you tow. Uh, so it will take the signal from the tires, amplify it, and send it into uh, into your tow vehicle. Um, if you've got like a big Class A, one of these big long Class A's, to get that signal good quality from the very, very back, especially if you've got something like tag axles or something like that, one of the big 45-foot uh, units. Uh, you'll definitely want to put this somewhere mid-span of the vehicle uh, so you can boost this up to the front. And then for me, we're a little over 42 feet on this long, heavy, 19,500-pound Montana. Um, and then on top of that, we're pulling it with a dually Super Duty long wheelbase. So if you look bumper to bumper, we're over 60 feet long. And this is just located in the storage bay in the front. Um, and I have no dropouts or anything else, so it just works perfect. So this comes with it as well. You definitely want to use those. Now, there's three different types of sensors that you can acquire from TST. Um, and let me put pictures of them right over here. Um, so first, you can have the in-band system. This typically comes from, uh, we'll just call that OEM, coming from your factory. Again, Montana and a lot of their uh, big, nice fifth wheels. Um, make this a factory option that you can acquire that and I have these end bands wrapped inside the tire I don't have to fool with them um, and they're there to be able to be used they work fantastic the second one that you have here um, will be what they call an inline um, and this will allow you to fill your tires uh, while without taking the, the the sensors off from the outside and then uh, the ones that I am going to be putting on our F-350 are what they call the caps. Uh, they look like this. Uh, it's just a little small cap, screws on. You can see like here, screws on. Um, and um, these things work great. They have just a little small battery. Um, these come with a little wrench uh, that you can unscrew these. 
um, and then replace the batteries. The batteries last a long time. Um, I would say this is probably your more common installation. Uh, this will fit any kind of a valve stem, uh, whether you've got using it for a, your, your car, if you don't have uh, um, sensors on your car or your truck, uh, this will work perfect for that. If you've got a pull behind camper or even if you're using your large Class A's, Class C's, Class B's, and if you don't any, have any type of a sensor, these just screw right on the valve stem. Very, very simple to install. And uh, what they provide you with is um, these little, uh, little, I call them pill and stick, and they stick really, really well, number system. So what I have done on mine is if you'll notice, um, here's one, let's see if the camera will show it. You'll see, I'm not sure if it'll focus on that or not. I'll try, may not pick it up. Um, I've stuck them on the front. So I have mine all numbered one through six, and then they provide you with a, a quick installation card uh, to be used. This quick install card uh, just gives you all the functions of what you need to be able to do to uh, register these. It's a one-time thing, registration. I'll show you how simple that is. A one-time registration um, to do these uh, caps. And what I'm going to do is, without crawling out there on the ground and all those types of things, I'm going to go ahead and pre-register all those ahead of time. And then what I did um, is I created this little map. Can you, can you make that out? A little map of, you know, number one goes on the front tire, uh, number two goes on the front right tire, three and, fro three and four go on the back left, five and six go on the back right passenger. So that way I can keep up with the numbers and as I map them to this unit, I will know number one is this, uh, number two is this, etc., etc., etc. Each one of these caps, as well as the end bands or the end lines, all have a specific serial number, so they're very unique uh, when they're registered. So uh, we'll get that taken care of as well. All right, let's go ahead and get these pre-registered real quick. Then we'll go out and install them on the uh, F-350. And then when I get through with that, we'll go do the end bands. There's a little process for that of being able to get those registered. It's not going to take very, very long. And then you will set your highs and lows as far as air pressure. And uh, because that's very, very important, uh, you'll have to see what your tires are rated for and what you should be running them at on your vehicles. It's going to be on the inside of your door jam of what you should be running your tires at. And then on a fifth wheel, it's going to be located on usually the front left side right behind the cap. Um, and sometimes they'll even show them on pull behinds and fifth wheels as well. They'll show them inside the door. Uh, when you open it up, what those tire pressures are. And the same thing for Class B's, Class A's, B's, and C's. Uh, there's going to be a location where your tire pressures uh, are shown of what you should be running them at. And you'll want to make sure that you do this cold. Go ahead and make sure that you have all your tires done at the proper levels before you start installing these caps. Uh, that'll save you some time. And then uh, you can put them on. One other thing that I'll mention if you want to go through that process uh, they do provide this specialized wrench and a small brass nut that you will thread on and you can screw your caps on and then you can thread those nuts and tighten them up. They call it anti-theft. Um, that's an option if you choose to use those as well. I'm not sure how many people are going to come and unscrew these and steal them. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's some bad characters out there. But if you want to go, to that price, pr go through that process, uh, there's a deterrent to prevent that from happening, okay? All right, let's get these registered real quick and uh, we'll get this uh, system up and going. Okay, first thing that we're going to do here is turn the power unit on. Uh, this came uh, fully charged from the factory, so pretty happy with that. Have a number of different settings here, parameter setting, pressure alert setting. We'll go through all these. Swap tire location, if in case you put the uh, sensor on a wrong tire and you wanna move them around. Automatic learning code, that's what we're going to be doing. You can do a manual code setting. Uh, each one of these sensors have their own code. And then you got to connect, disconnect. So we're going to go into automatic. We're going to go into the power unit. 
Uh, that's what they call the tow vehicle. So we are going to start here with the very first one. This is going to be the driver side front tire. And then we're going to go into learn. And that is going to be our number one. So now we have the first one. It has learned that one. We're going to hit exit and save. I'm going to set this one aside. I'm going to get now get my number two that is here. That is going to be for my passenger side. And I'm going to click learn. And I'm going to click. I'm going to verify the number here. That's going to be exit and save. This will be number three here, which is going to be my passenger side outside tire that's going to be this tire right here and I'm going to do learn exit and save number four is going to be my inside driver side learn exit and save my number five is going to be inside passenger side tandem wheel save and then my last one that I'm going to be setting up is going to be my number six which is my outside passenger size tandem verify the number and hit save. Okay, now what's going to happen is once you get through doing that, they're all going to go beep, 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 beep. Uh, no tire pressure. Guess what? <laughs> the caps are laying here on the table. They're not going to have any tire pressure. So they're going to go into alert. Let's go outside. Let's put them on the truck real quick. It won't take me just a few minutes to do that. And then we'll set the pressure limits, the temperature limits. Then we'll go around on the fifth wheel here and we'll register those end bands. Um, they take just an extra minute if it's anything like the 507 that I did. Uh, we've got to find it. And then once we find it, boom, click, beep, beep, beep. And we can do the same thing on those. Now, I'll just kind of give you a tip. On my truck, the tires that I'm running are 65 pounds. And on the Montana, we run those at 110, so it's a substantial difference. So we want to make sure that we get those proper temp proper settings for pressure, and then we'll make sure we do the high and low limits on uh, temp as well. And then uh, we'll be ready to head out on our trip this coming Monday. Getting excited about that. You can see there's nothing to put these on. This is, uh, there's, these are metal stems. If you don't have metal stems, I would recommend that you do this before you put these on. Apologize, this one's in the shadow a little bit. You can hear a little bit of air escape. I'm going to screw it on good and tight. And that is all it is to it. Now, the tandem is going to be a bit more of a challenge. So, um, we're going to have to do a little bit of contortion activity to get those on. Give that a good, good firm twist make sure he stays on all right that's in good shape let's go down here and try one of the tandems i'm back here at the dooleys and uh, this is going to be a bit of a contortion exercise because i'll try to get a flashlight in here you can maybe you can make it out uh, right back there in the back uh, you'll see where that one's located and the other one is located right there that one's not going to be hard to put on i'm going to put him on last i'm going to put him on first now fortunately i'll kind of show you what these look like I have these stem extenders. They're metal stem extenders. Uh, they look like that. Adds probably about an inch to the tire. Um, and that's gonna be critical. These are, these are brass as well. They're spring loaded. So as I thought about putting these on the inside dually here, um, I've got these slots here. Mine aren't round, mine are slot. I can get my hand in here and maneuver. The challenge is getting back here and taking this and trying to screw it on didn't work. So I came up with an idea that's actually working perfect. So what I did, I got a little piece of just this white coat hanger, <laughs> the mother of invention. And I can now take one of these sensors and snap it inside the little coat hanger 
like so. And then I can drop it behind the tire, push it forward with this finger, and then take it and then tighten it up. Work perfect. Now you may be asking, well, why didn't you just put extensions on here? Well, the extensions may or may not work. The quality of those things are hit or miss. And I always just like to follow the KISS method, you know, keep it simple, stupid. I'm pointing my finger at me. Um, and uh, this just turned out perfect. I mean, I fought it for two or three times, dropped it between the tires, picked it up, tried it, and I went, there's gotta be a better way. <laughs> All right, TST, here is your put it between the dually tool. <laughs> Worked great. I'm back here at the fifth wheel now, and we're gonna do the inbounds on the trailer tires. Now, they're a little hit or miss. They're not difficult, um, but you do have to play a little hide and go seek. They're supposed to be 180 degrees from the valve stem, supposed to. And it just depends on what happened at the factory. So um, let's see if we can find these. I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble. We're gonna go to automatic code learning. We're gonna to go to the trailer. And we're going to do driver side front tire and click learn. And it found it within a second. That's awesome. B101, I'm gonna remember that. Now let's get back here to this one. And what you have to be careful, these tires are a little closer together. Sometimes you might read the wrong one, but not always. All right, we're gonna do the one behind it and learn. And there it is. Exit and save. All right, this one was about 90 degrees from the stem and that was just one of the things I was talking. Here's the stem, I started monitoring here. He was here. This one was perfect at 180. Let's go do the other side. So this will be the right hand side. I'm gonna hit that one, hit that one, and hit learn. Found him right off the bat. Exit and save. All right, let's go do that one. Learn. Learn. There we go. Exit and save. All right, exit. At this stage, I have the six tire pressure sensor caps. I've got those installed on the F-350, including inside the dually. That was fun. And then I have the four M-bands that I have on the Montana fifth wheel. I've got those in the system. Our next step is to be able to set the cold pressure uh, reading for these tires. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, let's turn this on and set our tire pressure settings. It won't take but a second. It may already be preset for us. Um, the red pressure alert settings, we're going to go to the power unit, also known as our truck. Set for 65. That's what we run on our 65. Exit and then drive axle is 65. Exit. We don't have a spare tire, so I don't have to worry about that. And we're going to hit exit and save. We're going to hit the gear again, pressure alert, trailer one, and we run 110 on this, exit, exit, exit and save. It is that simple. All right, we're done. I've got the monitor set up. Let me show you how it looks. I have it set uh, here in the corner. Um, actually, as you're driving, it doesn't take away from any of my visibility here. I may leave it there. I'm not 100% sure. I'm debating that. I mentioned I had a bullet point system. Um, here on my dash, there's that. And I've got one of these magnetic mounts that I'm thinking about putting it right here. I'll unplug this. Nice thing about this being on a magnet. Um, and then, you know, putting it right there. And that doesn't take as much window real estate. And um, I would be happy with that. Now, this is where I keep my iPhone for music and directions and things like that. But here's a closer view of what's actually going on. You can see the individual. So here's the, here's the dually. Uh, I'm looking at the driver side front tire now. Uh, that's the passenger side. 
Um, the sun's pretty hot on the driver's side. You can see my outside tires at 70 degrees on the back, uh, 68 on the inside. So you can see the sun hitting that, warming those tires up. Um, and um, so the dually's looking good. You see the temperature. You see the uh, pounds per square inch uh, for, the, for the truck. Now we're going to move back to the trailer. You can see those are warming up. This is sun side. So, um, you know, one, 110 is what I have the, should have the pressure on those tires, but I might be just a tad over. Uh, this one's a little warmer. And uh, you can see, you can see this, the, the non-sun sides at 73 degrees. And, you know, the sunny sides running up at 82 on the truck. So this is working great. I, I'm, I'm really pleased. The visibility on this compared to the previous monitor I had is extraordinary. It's so big. I think even driving at night with that black background, it's not going to be disturbing at all. Now, let me show you a benefit here that I think is just absolutely amazing. You see the two arrows here? I'm going to hit that arrow. Look at that. The compass, okay, I think that's handy. Uh, if I was probably off-roading or something like that. But this gives me a nice view of miles per hour. And what I really like is altitude. So when we've got those big, long climbs going over the mountains, uh, you know, you get up to 6,000 feet or so. It's interesting to watch that climb as you go up and see what the altitude shifts are. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. And the good thing about it is, is I could even leave it there. I don't have to sit here and monitor this. If I, if I was to get a tire alert, it'll start beeping. And I mean, it beeps. It's loud. Um, and then, you know, if I've got it in that mode right there, I can always hit it right there and, and knock it back. The other thing you'll see, you'll see a reset. So um, there is, you know, it's, it's a GPS. It'll show you how many miles that you're traveling. So um, I'll show you this as we head down the road. Um, I think this is gonna work out really good. And then it's got, you know, clock and time. It's pretty cool. Good morning. Joan and I have been traveling for a couple weeks now and um, just now coming out of Florida. And I wanted to uh, close out this video by just kind of giving you a view of what this uh, TST system looks like since I had it installed. Um, it's it really worked fantastic. And um, here, let me give you a view of the dash. This has changed a little bit since you've seen it last. Joan, show them how that magnetic mount works. If you just pull that off. And so I just used one of these bullet point magnetic mounts. Um, and uh, I like that view uh, here. There was nothing wrong with what uh, TST provided. Uh, that worked really well. Now you'll see here, um, you can see right now I'm reading my truck tires and um, We've been on the road now for just a little bit, so they've heated up. The pressure's gone up slightly. It's going to switch over to the uh, fifth wheel tires now. You can definitely see the tire pressure go up substantially uh, when it gets to that point, so it works really well. Uh, here's another feature that I like a lot. Joan, hit that arrow, and let's show them what that does. Right there. <laughs> We're bouncing a little bit. So there's a compass. The, the compass doesn't do much for me. Um, but you can see uh, altitude, you can see miles per hour. Um, it's got a trip counter. You can see maybe if you can make it out here in the video, it's got a reset and you can reset the trip counter. Go ahead and put it back on the tire monitor. Uh, and uh, that's just a nice feature. Um, I really like it. Um, it's, the, it it's been very accurate and um, it's just really a nice system. And the, and the visual display here is you can kind of look, I've got my, phone right here where I've got our map up and then you know I've got a, a I call it our insurance camera our dash cameras up there in the front and uh, you know it doesn't take a whole lot of real estate I kind of pull back you know it's not blocking my windows my views or nothing like that it's really a nice system the setup for the 770 and the monitors are just they're just a breeze if you got an in-band system you know, it took me every bit of maybe two, three minutes. It took me longer to walk around the fifth wheel than it did to be able to set up the sensors. And that tells you how simple it is. Um, on the truck, on the dually, uh, of course, I, I recommend setting your sensors up inside, um, or, you know, or inside your truck or inside your home or your, your camper would be the easiest thing to do. Then screw them on. When you turn it on, it's going to chirp at you if you don't have the proper... 
uh, pressure settings, but that's no big deal. It takes just a couple minutes. You saw how easy it was to be able to set the, um, the cold tire temps on this. So it was absolutely a breeze. Uh, my biggest challenge, and I knew it, I knew it going into it, was how was I going to be able to get that, those sensors inside the dually wheels? And again, I could have extensions on them. I explained why I didn't use those. I created my little <laughs> Jerry's adapter, <laughs> you know. But you know what? It worked, and it made it super, super uh, easy to put them in. I mean, it was like two minutes to slide those things in there and just, you know, stick your fingers in there and twist them tight. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Well, um, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, you just saw us going down the road as we uh, as we we're traveling down to Florida. And uh, I'm showing you the benefits of, uh, you know, what the temperatures look like once the tires heat up. So uh, it, that's going to change. Like right now, I'm, you know, sitting still. Uh, they're running in the, you know, the 60s to 70s and uh, on the truck and um, on the camper. Um, they're running about the same temp as well, and that is going to change substantially. If you've never seen that, you're going to be quite surprised how hot these tires get. So uh, they do warm up quite a bit. All right, uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. This 770 is just an ideal, very easy to read, super, super easy system to set up. I'd like to thank the, uh, the folks at TST for arranging this, and I'd also like to thank uh, Techno RV, um, who is sponsoring the sending of these to me. They did provide this to me to evaluate and use. So uh, thanks to both parties. Uh, we enjoyed meeting all the folks at the Tampa RV show and appreciate all the support after the fact of getting these units to us. If you're interested in getting something like this, I have provided links for you to where you can order these from Techno RV. Uh, they've been ex extremely super responsive. Um, and the other thing that I'd like to share with you as well is if you do have difficulty, they have US-based support support uh, at Techno RV and at TST if you run into any problems. I didn't run into any problems. It was just follow the instructions on the back of the card, push the button, and it just worked. So thank you all. Thank you both for being very, very supportive of I Love RV Life. I hope that you find these types of reviews helpful. Um, I enjoy doing them for you. And of course, of course I love RV Life. Mm -hmm.